Hello, my name is Fran Sands. Welcome to my boxing coach. Um, Rocky Marciano, um, the Brockton blockbuster, 49 fights, all wins, 43 by way of knockout. Um, normally, this type of video, I call it five fearsome factors, and I pick out five factors of a, of a great fighter, and I work on that. This isn't called five fearsome factors, because I couldn't really... I couldn't really expand on it. I just think Marciano's style is so beautifully sort of simple and brutal that there's no use separating these factors out. I'll explain more in a moment. Before we get started, um, why don't you download your book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit. Join the thousands of others who've downloaded this 64-page book. Um, in there you get everything you need to build out your boxing journey from, from the outset. Uh, the seven steps to supreme speed, five building blocks of power, how to set up your own home gym, how to lay down your own training regime, the kind of mindset you need, plus the 10 core skills of a great boxing style, including links to videos. Um, there is a link down below and there will be a link at the end for you to enter your email and download your book. Okay, so let's talk about Rocky Marciano's style. Um, wonderfully destructive, but it's... Okay, so let's start Let's start at the beginning with his feet. Now, um, I always look at fighters and I think, what can I teach my, my own boxers who are amateur boxers, who are short duration fights? What can I teach them now? Um, when it comes to feet... A lot, uh, just just the principle of a stance. I can't I can't use a stance to coach my kids. The stance is often very narrow as he's at long range. His feet are really flat, um, and he kind of. But what he does is is inch forward, and he just flat narrow stance. Now once he gets into into range, then he will widen or he will square because he wants to generate real power. But he's really just this. This, this is it. It's, it's, just, it's just nothing about his feet that are, that stands out. You will actually look at it and go, "Oh my God!" You know why? Well, what's he doing there? With, he's one of us. You know, it's not him. That's not his style. He's an incher. He inches forward. I'm coming to get you, and I'm coming inch by inch. But his lead hand, you know, his lead hand is constantly fainting. As he's gone forward, you see he's got like this lead hand is is kind of constantly moving, you know, trying to trigger the opponent. Does he jab? Well, yes, but not really as a punch in and of itself. I'll come on to that in a moment. So there's his feet flat, and he and he just kind of works his way forward. What about defence? Well, his defence is really quite deceptively. Clever, and it makes him deceptively difficult to hit. And what he does, as he's standing there, he just he's constantly with his head off the centre line, but he'll bend and bring this hand up. So as he's going forward, he's he's doing this. Now he's not particularly bending forward. He's bending to the side. So as he's inching forward, he's bending to the side. You know, waiting for the shot, and this means that. Orthodox opponents are constantly overreaching, trying to trying to nail him with that that right hand. So he's deceptively difficult to hit. That's kind of the second element: the inching forward, the hand going, and the the, the waist bend to take him off the centre line, take him away from the opponent's long shots. Now, it, it seems to me that he has two basic attack sequences. This is not a... This is not a blazing combination puncher. Right? First attack sequence. We talked about his jab. We talked about... Well, his jab, often, he'll go one, two. And he'll try and bring that hook in. One, two. So that jab is just there to get him in. Or you'll do it to the body as well. Jab. Closes that ground and tries to bring in that power hook. 
He is a determined power puncher. He doesn't throw shots. Every shot he throws has the intent to hurt and damage the opponent. So that's the first attack sequence, the jab, slip and hook, so that he can close the ground and then he can just bang away. The second attack sequence is his Susie Q, as he used to call it. So we talked about his waistband, his hands gone, his bends, bends, that helps stop any jabs or backhands, but he's leaning away and he's forcing opponents to overcommit. Well, off that waistband then, he throws big right hands. Whack! So it's down, bang, round. No combinations. They're the two basic attack sequences that you see with him. He uses uppercuts, but no, no combinations is what I'm saying. So he's not like, pa 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 pa. It's like, bang, bang, bang. He's like hitting you just constantly with a hammer, with a lump hammer, sledgehammer, just bang, bang. And we'll come on to the cadence in a moment. And he uses great uppercuts up close. Is he a dirty fighter? Uh, well, yeah. But I don't think it's... I think it's, look, you know, this is heavyweight professional fighting. So he will bang his head in. He will smack his forearm in. He will hold and smash the uppercuts in. You're not in there. What did Ricky Hatton say? It's not a tickling contest. You know, and Marciano was, was not giving anything away. But his uppercuts were good. But those were the two key attack sequences. The final thing is just his conditioning, his will. It's like a metronome. So he starts at this pace. He's inching forward all the time. He's trying to throw hooks. He's, he's trying to throw them off the, the big backhand, off the, off the waistband. But he's constantly putting pressure on. Tick, tock, tick, tock, like a metronome. Pressure is constant. And this is against good opponents. You know, you, I watched in the, in the preparation for this, I watched full fights. Didn't just watch the highlight clips. I revisited full fights that I hadn't seen since I was a kid. Roland Lestaza, Ezard Charles, Joe Walcott, Archie Moore. Archie Moore is an amazing fighter. It's just, it's just... Now, the beauty is once he senses tiredness in the opponent, he doesn't need to sense that they're hurt. Even just the slightest tiredness, his conditioning and will just allows him to pick that metronome rate up. So he's just like, boom, boom, whack, whack. And it's just, just gradually, and then the opponent gets more tired. And it's like a critical mass situation then. But as the opponent ties, he goes up. I think he was ahead of his time in terms of his conditioning. Just wondrous. I mean, the the way he could gear up as the opponent tired. He just smashed them into submission. Just beautifully, sort of elegantly destructive. You know, you don't. It goes to show you that you don't have to have lots of complexity and subtleties about your style. Just have those things and just make them work. Just be be simple and direct. And his will, his conditioning, his ability to go for 15 rounds and be able to crank up through the gears as the opponent has. Outstanding. You want to have some fun, do one 15-minute round on a heavy bag in the style of Rocky Marciano. Great fun. Just great fun. You know, you're not throwing plays and combinations, but every shot you're throwing is designed to hurt. And you can flatten your feet, you're not bouncing around, you won't get sore calves. It's really quite um, efficient in many ways. You can widen them when you're throwing them bomb, them shots. But every shot then is intended to really whack them Susie Q's and those left hooks. Outstanding. Hope you've enjoyed that. I've gone on a bit. I hope you've enjoyed it. Download your book, The Beginner Box of Toolkit. Click this link here. And it will take you to my site and you can enter your email address and I will be happy to send you your book. Uh, plus a bunch of follow-on videos as well. Uh, otherwise, my name is Franz Sands. Um, take care of yourself.